Okay, so it is a kind of a shitty day out here, but we will be making the best of it because we got 250 cows here. Yeah, not one, not two. Actually could have brought four. <laughs> I wanted to do kind of like a full video just to the Cyclops, aka the Thumper. Uh, I shot this gun just the other day. I shot four or five rounds and literally my hand still hurts. This thing actually really sucks to shoot not gonna lie uh 500 mag with a 700 grain bullet way more pleasant than this thing it's uh i should have weighed it i don't know i'm sure on the website it says uh, how much it weighs with that thing but she she be kicking <laughs> she be kicking and i'm gonna go over pros and cons uh so the first con is gonna be recoil and i'm gonna show you here so we're gonna try to make this fun we're gonna do some shooting in between bitching about it and stuff i got some water jugs i got some books got the chronograph down there so let me get set up and we'll go over this gun okay sorry if that angle is a little off i'm just out here by myself today so if you don't know what thump thump here shoots I call them bark bark there's some birds there. they're about to leave the woods here in a hurry it shoots a 50 action express that's a 300 grain hollow point I think they go up around 325-ish, but that's usually about the size you get. It's a 300 grain. Uh, so it breaks open like this. So this is pretty new, uh, real new, brand new. Uh, so it's, little, it's built in Texas. Uh, the fit is it's really good. Like it's made very well. Uh, it's verified clear. So put her in here, and he's kind of. So one thing is so like tight once you get a live round in there that the the break it back opens kind of tight. Like once you shoot, it pops right open. When it's like when a round is in there, it's kind of like you got to really slam it. It's probably because it's new. Then we'll talk about the the ultimate. Well, the biggest con right here is the recoil. So I got five water jugs up there. This round is pretty impressive coming out of this four inch barrel. I think it is four and a quarter. It's about like a four inch barrel, I do believe. And it has a safety here. I'm just kind of pushing off something I really don't want to do. Well, a little stuck there. He says new. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to try a little different technique here. Alrighty, let's see here. So it devastated it. I'm gonna go over why I cut it and had a glove on. Because that goes into exactly one mass of the biggest problem with this gun. It's sitting in there, I do believe. Well, part of it's in there. Yeah, it looks like the whole thing might be in there. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, part of it. Hey, I think this part of it went in there. This was untouched. Or did it flew out the side, maybe. Yeah, good hit. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think it packs some freaking power. So it did puncture all five. Kind of flew out the side there. Very powerful round, man. Oh, that little gun. Let's go over why I had to cut it and stuff, though. It's very, very important. So I, I, it's one thing I can't, I got to figure out what the hell is wrong with this thing. Actually, let me put my camera up here. Okay, the biggest, absolute, I don't know if this is with all of them. So take the empty out. Uh, actually, I'll leave the empty in there. Just for demonstration here. The trigger on this. What the fuck? Because you can... If you try to pull it like this when it's loaded, you're pulling 50 pounds, I bet. I'm sitting there just fucking shaking like, oh, 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 is it going to go off? Like, no. But if you squeeze down here, it actually has a decent trigger. Let's put the safety on. I'll try to, like, you pull down here. Like, look. Do that here. Not bad. But if you try, like, look. You see how bad that is? 
you can't get your finger in there. You have to get like, like down here. And still look at that. So if you get the very, very end, it's not bad. It's still heavy, but it's not bad. You can take this hand guard off. There's just a screw there. You take that off and that just fits in there. Uh, I was going to bring my wrenches. I got to look to see. I might have them here. I was going to do it before I left. But this is kind of nice to have on there to, to hold on to when you're going, when you're shooting. Because it's a, it's a handful. But if they made this hand guard just a little bigger to where you can get down on that trigger. Because you got to be down here. It's just, it's almost unshootable. It really is. Like if you're in a self-defense thing, like you could never use this. Like it's just the worst trigger on any gun I have ever seen, ever. I have the cheapest 12 gauge single barrel. It has a 15 pound trigger. I think the other one, I have a 410. It wouldn't even read on the scale, it's so high, it's like 20 pounds. They have better triggers than this. This is fucking trash of a trigger, dude. Oh my God, like you can, you can never use it. Look, that's like, that's 30, 40 pounds, I bet. And it's not that it's actual 30, 40 pound trigger. It's just the way you grip it. Like you can't, if you're gripping up here, it, is, it isn't doing anything. You see, you can, like you got to really fucking squeeze it to get off there. You got to really get down to the very end, even there. It's a terrible trigger. It's almost unshootable. So I'm going to, I'm going to play with it here and hopefully you can get it to work. Might see if I have some wrenches, take that off real quick and let's just get back to it. Okay, I got the I got the hand guard off. It does seem better this way. I would probably never want to carry it that way. <clears throat> but honestly, I'd probably never... If I had to use this self-defense, I'd explain to the guy or person or him, her, whatever, they, them. Listen, I do not want to shoot this thing. You do not want me to shoot this thing at you. So let's just part ways here. But we're going to try it out. I do have my glove back on. Mostly because I'm not sure how this, like, I'm going to be able to hold it. So, I don't want to tear my hand up. It, she be kicking. Okay. Safety is real stiff, too. Okay. Safety's off. Whew. Okay, you guys can see right there, right into the face. Got a couple books. See, you just don't know if it's going off. Like, you squeeze so hard and it doesn't do anything. It's a terrible gun to shoot because <laughs> you're just squeezing and you don't know like when's it going off like in the next five pound one pound 20 pound like fucking sucks man all right so that was a little bit better i'm kind of really worried about shooting the chronograph <laughs> i have a feeling the chronograph is going to get shot Ooh, it's stopping this book oh man rfk is in this book there she is it didn't take out the president, did it? No. That really slug. I think we might have. I think we found what happened to. You know what? We're, we're not going to look into that any anymore. Here's the slug down here. All right. So, I mean, it opened up good. Books are pretty good test. They really mess up a bullet, as you can tell. And I went through three fairly sized books. So, not bad for a pocket pistol. I'm going to work on that trigger some. There has to be a way to get that thing going. If you could get a, figure out that trigger, this would be a good gun. But with that trigger, it's unusable. You can't use this gun. It is so bad. So let's see what a 500 mag does to the books. Okay, now we got the 500 motherfucking Magnum. So, quite a bit bigger. It's a 350 grain hollow point. Let's see if I can... So this is a 2. That's a 50 AE 500 mag. Quite a bit bigger. Much better of a gun. Shoots way better. There we go. To the face. So, so, 
<laughs> right now, I so much better of a gun. So much better. <laughs> Save your money up by a 500 mag. Because look at the... Oof. So it went through all the books. I actually didn't think it would do that. And it hit the stone too. <laughs> right in the face. To the face. Yeah. This was discarded. Yes, you are. So the AE stopped in this book, kept on trucking through this one. And I had a rock sitting up there. I do not see the rock anywhere. I know. She broke. Is that the rock? I don't think so. Yeah, let me look around here, see if I find it. Alrighty, I found it. I would actually hit the rock and just kind of sent the rock flying into the fire pit. And that's the 500 mag. That's the 50 AE. So quite a bit big of a difference. The barrel length probably really isn't that big of a difference. So, yeah, because, you know, that's ported there. And so, yeah, not big of a difference. Uh, maybe I'll try to chronograph. With that, I'll try once. Might be the end of the chronograph. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I got the chronograph up. I'm gonna try this one time. Cause this, I don't know, maybe it'll work better. I'll try to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see. Okay. I'm gonna give this a whirl. Uh, def okay, we're good, we're good. Error three. I'll try that one more time. Fuck it. We're here. Let me reset it. It's kind of raining. Let's find it. Okay, let's see if we get a good chronograph reading here. <laughs> ah, damn. That kicks. <laughs> That's 11.94. That's pretty good out of a, a pocket pistol. I know when Kentucky Ballistic did it, he only got like 700 feet, but he was pretty close. And then, so, 500 mags here. It's pouring down rain. I'm going to get going here soon. Okay, now we got the 500 mag. Let's see what she does. <laughs> Fucking fireball on that thing. Good lord, man. Air 2. Why not? Yeah. Chronograph. He's about to get shot. That's what's going to happen. Hold on. Okay. Reset the chronograph. <laughs> it's going to be last shot because it is pouring... Pouring down rain. It's actually hard to hold on to this gun now because everything, my hand's so wet. So it was 11.94 on the Bond arm. <laughs> Man, I think 15.13. So pretty close. 500 mag. Definitely better gun. And yeah, let's just recap all this crap, I guess. All right, so just a little recap. Today's my one day off. Yeah, that's a lie. I'm actually off tomorrow too, but I was off today. I feel perfect. I feel like 100%, man. Went to the gym, got a good workout in. I'm like, yeah, ready, ready to fucking go. Get out here. It's like, hmm, go fuck yourself. Kind of like this gun. So what are my thoughts on this? It's such a cool thing. I love single barrel, single shot, anything. I love the concept that they have with this. When you buy the 50 AE, I'm not sure how it works, vice versa, but then you can also buy the 4570 barrel and all you have to do is take out that screw and swap out the barrel. You don't have to do any paperwork. It's just buying a barrel. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to PSA for overnighting this thing for some reason, which I have no idea. I'm like, dude, I don't need it that quick. <laughs> shout out to them though for overnighting it. The guy, <laughs> the guy at my gun store, he's like, you know, I have a Desert Eagle and it kicks pretty good. He's like, that thing's going to be a handful. I'm like, mm-hmm. And it really is. That's the only reason you would ever buy this is just the experience. And it is, it's so good. But that trigger is just so bad. It's like, I want to love this gun. I want to take it out and shoot it. it. It's fun. It actually shoots good if you can get a good aim on it. Yet, or the other day, I forget when it was, I was shooting it and I was hitting shit. Uh, but the trigger... You, just, I, you can't you can't do anything with it i'm gonna take it apart and see if i can polish it up some 
see if there's anything I can do. Maybe I might reach out to him because it's like you can't accurately. You're just fucking squeezing it to go off and you can't be accurate at all that way. Like, and it's so hard not to flinch because you're squeezing so hard. It's like, it's, when's, when's it going off, you know? Then it goes off. You're like, holy fuck. So, the price point, if you can get them cheap, it's worth it. Do not pay full price for these things. They are not worth it. Uh, I luckily didn't have to, but like I said, I I forget what they retail for. It's, obs it's obscene. I didn't pay anywhere near that, but it's... Uh, for what I paid for it, sure. Full price, absolutely not. Not unless they figure out that trigger. It can do something for it, man. Because it really is. I love this. It's so fun. And, you know, shooting a 50 cal, like the AE, like, I bet you could put a 500 mag in there. I mean, we're here. <laughs> it won't let you. I tried to put a Beowulf in there. <clears throat> so maybe we'll do that. We'll compare this and that and the Beowulf, but, I mean, that smoked that. That and the Beowulf are very close. I think the, the Beowulf, well, this is a short barrel. If you had a long barrel 500 mag, you get you had more case pressure than the Beowulf. Not by much, but a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, I'm just rambling on here. If you think of anything else you want me to shoot with the Cyclops, besides myself, not there yet, uh, let me know. All right, thanks for watching, guys.